Hello, and welcome to the latest update news of Family in Mourning. Sylvester Stallone said her final goodbyes after days of suffering with cancer. Happy birthday, sweetheart on July 6, 2023, Jennifer Flavin posted on Instagram. These heartfelt wars from his beloved Jennifer, marking another year of life, capture the enduring love that binds his Hollywood power couple. You bring so much joy, laughter, and love to our beautiful family. The three children of Stalin joined together to show their father their admiration and love in original ways. The creator of Silent Children, Sophia, took us on a trip down memory lane by posting a turtleback photo of Tala with her father and sister, along with a heartfelt birthday message. Sistine, the middle child, picked a recent photo of the two of them and added heart emojis to it. The youngest Scarlett shared a candy photo of her father's secret driving a golf cart and jokingly referred to him as Slagger. It is clear that the Stalin family has a strong sense of love and affection for one another. In May, Jennifer and Sylvester celebrated their 25th wedding anniversary, which is an incredible achievement for any couple, much less one who has to deal with tomatoes. The Hollywood River their relationship blossomed and became public two years later when they made their red carpet debuts as a couple. But as in any epic tale, their love story faces trials in March 1994 when Sylvester Stallone shot Jennifer, ending their relationship. This momentous occasion coincided with the premiere of their reality show The Family Stalin. The Stalin family's journey has not been without its share of difficulties. When Sophia, the oldest Stalin sibling, was just two months old, she felt seriously ill and doctors were stumped to spike countless tests. The couple later got married in May 1997, solidifying their commitment to one another. Two more daughters, Sustain and Scarlett, joined the family in 1998 and 2002. Both of them have the middle name Rose. Jennifer continues her relentless search for information in an effort to learn the cause of her daughter's illness. Sophia revealed a significant aspect of her life story while the family Stalin was filming their reality TV series. She revealed that she was born with a hole in her heart, which shed light on the mysterious illness that had plagued Sophia from birth. Armed with this knowledge, the Salon family set out to manage the Sophia's condition so she could lead as normal a life as possible while maintaining her health and happiness. However, life has not always been easy for Sophia. Because of those worrying incidents following her fainting while playing volleyball, she had to have open-heart surgery. Sophie's description of this transition from a routine life to the stark reality of lying on the operating table with her chest opened for surgery is both poignant and illuminating. She also described how it felt to have never had to think about death before. Additionally, it wasn't just Sophia who was affected. Her parents Sylvester and Jennifer also experienced a significant impact. Jennifer experienced emotional turmoil, which manifested physically as rushes all over her body. Despite appearing stoic on screen, Sylvester Neville struggled to contain his tears as he considered his daughter needing open-heart surgery. Sophia's courageous admission illuminated the emotional turmoil she went through during this trying time. She discussed the burden of feeling like she had to be strong despite facing her own mortality because she thought her family would break apart if she showed any vulnerability. She developed post-traumatic stress disorder as a result of going through this difficult time, which is evidence of the emotional toll that significant health issues can cause. Sophia's story, thankfully, takes a turn towards optimism and resiliency when she recently visited the doctor and learned that her passion for healing the hole in her heart is still intact and that she is in excellent health. There is no greater feeling, according to Jennifer, than learning that one's child is still in good health but receiving horrifying news. She also expressed the relief and joy that every parent experiences when they learn that their child is safe. It all began innocently enough with Sylvester Stallone feeling discomfort in his abdomen. Little did he know that this would be the first sign of a powerful foe 
lurking within his body three weeks later, in mid-January, he would receive news that would change his life forever. What started as a Simba-burning sensation in his abdomen led to a series of events that would test his strength and recovery abilities. Sylvester and Bartana's valiant journey to the Los Angeles Medical Center for Treatment, the medical staff came up with a strategy that included severing the tumor's blood supply in an effort to slow its growth. The road to recovery was difficult, but Sylvester, a man known for his tenacity on and off screen, was not one to give up easily on January 25th, there was a stroke. And on February 18, 2023, he found himself hospitalized with pneumonia, a complication that frequently occurs in cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy. Sylvester, a man known for his tenacity on and off screen, was determined to fight for his health and his family. But the path to recovery was forced with challenges Sally from the moment Sylvester heard her shocking news on April 27, 2023, the conflict was far from over. Not just for him, but also for his loved ones and his callous fans, the cancer that had already taken so much from him spread to his liver once more. Worldwide, it was a point and reminder of the strength of addiction and the effects it can have on one's health that Sylvester's battle with cancer was complicated by a lifelong habit. For four decades, he had been a dedicated smoker, consuming up to 30 cigarettes per day. He acknowledged that his continued smoking likely played a role in the development of his disease, and even during his cancer treatment, he struggled to break free from the addiction. August 23, 2023 marked the end of Sylvester. Sylvester was cremated after his passing, and his ashes were dispersed across his beloved range in New Mexico. It was a suitable send-off for a man who had won millions of fans' hearts through his performances, and who had fought one of the hardest battles life could have thrown at him. Thanks for watching my video.